Special thank you to Anastasia Beverly Hills and Sephora for sponsoring a portion of today's video. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. So today I am calling all product junkies. We're gonna sit down and talk about products, honey. Okay, new products that I have absolutely been loving. For the most part, y'all pretty much know what my holy grail products that I use on a consistent basis, but I have been trying a couple new products lately that I really have been loving. So that is what I'm gonna be sharing with you guys today. We're covering hair, makeup, as well as some skincare and body products as well that I'm just so excited to share with y'all. So we're just gonna jump straight in. So let's just go ahead and start off with hair. One thing I've noticed, I feel like last year and even in 2020 as well, I feel like there were like collections after collections and products after products and all these like launches and it was crazy. I feel like this year started off pretty slow. I mean, there've been new things here and there, but it started off really slow until recently. I feel like it's starting to pick back up again. I have received a couple of new items, which I'm going to share with you. Um, I will say I haven't had the chance to try a bunch of them yet, so actually y'all can go ahead and expect a couple hair experiment videos in the future. There's actually a small little growing mountain of products that I need to try. But for the ones that I have tried, I'm about to put y'all on to the T. So first up, this Avita Styling Treatment Foam. I love a good foam. Y'all already know I need to have a foam at all times because that's what I use to refresh my hair. By the way, y'all are looking at day six hair today. It did not start off looking that way, but I refreshed it with this foam and it got me all the way together. I love it. And the bottle literally says it's specifically made for like all textures of medium to thick hair, which is great. That's for us girls. I really love the smell as well. I have been working out consistently every single week. Yay, go me. Um, but of course, my scalp gets a little sweaty and sometimes my hair will get a little sweaty as well. So um, I love the fact that the smell is good as well. So when I'm refreshing, not only are the curls getting popping, but it's kind of refreshing the smell as well until I'm able to go ahead and wash again. So I do love this. It definitely gets the job done. I'm here for it. So I'll tend to recommend if you are in the market for a new mousse, I would definitely suggest you try this out. Another hair product that I have really been loving lately, I didn't expect to love this honestly as much as I do. This is the Bumble and Bumble BB Curl Gel Pomade. Okay, let me just get into this texture for y'all so y'all can really see. Actually, you would have seen this in my A Week With My Hair video. I use this to slick back my faux ponytail and y'all, it's so good. I like to call this like a hybrid between a gel and an edge control. Like it has the edge control type texture, just not as thick. It's still pretty movable and it's just really good for slicking hair. I love it. The holes, I will say, is not as strong as an edge control. So I would not, I absolutely would not necessarily use this as an edge control, but it can work to kind of give me a little slick slick right here. And definitely when I need to slick back like in a bun, in a ponytail, whatever it may be, it just works really, really well for that. One of my favorite things actually is the shine, okay? The texture is what kind of slicks it back. It's really great. But the level of shine that you get with this just looks so beautiful and healthy and I love it. So yeah, I've kind of been going through this. Um, I am also happy with the fact that this is one of their silicone free products. I know not all of the Bumble and Bumble products from their curl line are silicone free, but this one is. All the ones that I really mentioned to y'all, the ones that I feel comfortable trying are the silicone free ones. So, so yeah, I love this. I'm very, very excited about it. And it also does smell really good as well. So yeah, that's basically gonna be it for the hair category. I feel like lately, again, like I said, there haven't been too many like crazy launches that are like super exciting or anything, in my opinion. Every week, I'm basically using like the same rotation of products that y'all already know. My Curl Smith, my Brio Geo, my Dippity Doo Girls with Curls, the usual. So now we move on to another type of hair product that I'm not talking about the hair on your head. I am talking about our brows, y'all. I was beyond excited when I heard Anastasia Beverly Hills was coming out with their Brow Genius, which is a conditioning brow serum. It's like a clear serum. You apply it to clean brows with hair-like strokes. You let it dry for two minutes or so, and then boom, that's it. You're free to apply brow products on top. I actually have it underneath my brow products right now, and it 
it worked like a charm. Like it's like it wasn't even there, honestly. It's meant to help your brows appear healthier, improve their overall texture, and just kind of nourish them. And I'm really into that because y'all know I laminate my brows consistently as well. I go about every six weeks to get them done. And of course, any kind of manipulation you do, you just gotta make sure that you're doing it in a good, healthy kind of way. So anything that I can add into my routine that's going to nourish and support my brows, I'm gonna do it. So I'm really, really excited. Today's actually the first day of trying this very impressed so far I mean it works like a charm I didn't have any sensitivity issues so I figured I would put y'all onto this as well all right so moving right along let's talk about some makeup goodies now while hair has been a little bit like slower quieter makeup on the other hand has been popping there have been a ton of really dope releases this year so I'm really excited because Oh, I just, oh man, there's some really good stuff. So first things first, we gotta talk about the one size concealers. First of all, I have to say how obsessed I am with Patrick Star. I just love his energy, his vibe, his platform, his content, and also his brand. These concealers are amazing. Amazing! I've never used a concealer that I have loved like this much. I can throw out all the other concealers, honestly. So first things first, I really love the color range. I actually use a bunch of different shades. So first I will use the shade Dark 2R. It's like pretty orangey, so I like to use it to kind of color correct and cover some of my acne dark spots. And then to highlight underneath my eyes, I actually use two shades. So I'll go in with Medium Dark 4. That's like my main highlight shade. Then I'll add a little dot of Medium dark 2R which is a little bit lighter and also a different undertone but I like the way this works together because I have a little bit of added brightness the way it blends into my skin I am obsessed and while we're talking about blending this is another one on the favorites list okay this is the Kosas Beauty Blender also received this in PR and I love it the shape of it and everything it's so pointy so it makes it perfect to kind of just fit right on in here when you're blending underneath your eyes and then I love this end which is not as pointy as the other end so I actually like to use this side for powder now we also got to talk about NARS and fam we gotta talk about NARS they launched cream bronzers okay we already know that NARS is the queen of complexion so I knew when I received this cream bronzer I was oh man I was so excited so this is what it looks like comes in this cute jar and the shade I wear is Laguna 03 honestly my favorite part about this cream bronzer is the way that it blends out it's not a contour it blends out so nicely into the skin like an actual powder bronzer and I love that gone are the days of the super heavy like chiseled contour you know what i mean that was like so what five six years ago now we're into bronzers more natural vibes which i i love and this delivers just that for me personally when it comes to bronzers i struggle a lot especially with powder bronzers i struggle a lot with them showing up orange on me so whenever i find a really good bronzer and it doesn't show up orange i'm into it and this is it sis and then i've actually been using one of their setting powders as a little bit of bronzer action on top to kind of set the cream and i also kind of like airbrush and finish out the bronzer so it doesn't look like sometimes bronzer can look a little bit muddy if you don't apply it correctly if you just you know what i mean you got to make sure it's nice and blended but this y'all i'm about to put y'all onto a little hack right now so this is their light reflecting powder i know this launched towards the beginning of this year but i never used it i don't know why until recently Actually, I do know why. The shade that they sent me is Mesa, and it was too dark for me. It looks a little light in the camera, but it was a little bit on the darker side, especially launching towards the beginning of the year. I was pale from winter and stuff. I do have a cute little summer tan right now, which is why I decided to pick this up and see what it was like. But because I knew it was slightly dark for me, I decided to try it in my bronzer areas first. And y'all, this is the key. Don't even go and buy bronzers anymore. Just get this light reflecting powder and get a shade that you know is too dark for you. Not like too dark, don't like go like dark dark, but maybe like one or two shades too dark for you and use it as bronzer or to set your cream bronzer. Amazing. Because the powder is like so fine, it's loose powder, it blends and it airbrushes and it is so beautiful. So if you've always struggled with your bronzer looking a little bit muddy, just not being able to blend it out correctly, this is a hack for you, sis. Oh my gosh, almost forgot to mention, NARS also launched this brush specifically to go with the cream bronzer and I love it. 
I love it. Okay, now we gotta talk about blush. We gotta talk about blush. Rare Beauty is that girl, but I figured out how to use it properly. Because at first, when I first tried to use these blushes, because it is like a liquid type of blush, I would just kind of dot it directly onto the skin and then I would end up looking like a clown and it would be crazy. But now, I open it up and actually apply it to my hand first and then I take a brush and kind of blend it out slightly on my hand and then apply it directly to my face and that's the way that I get it to work. So good for me. And this shade is everything. So this shade is called Love. It is one of the matte finishes, which I really like. Um, I do like both of them. They do have dewy finishes. This one is shade Encourage. So this is a dewy one that I do enjoy sometimes. I actually wear them both. But yeah, absolutely love. And just the finish is just absolutely beautiful. And even though it is matte, we still got a cute little glow shining through. I just love that for us. I am so sorry, y'all. If you hear a little background noise, let's just ignore it. It's a gardener outside. I swear they're only outside when I'm filming. But anyways, we proceed. All right, so moving right along, let's talk about brown lip liners. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about the fact that in 2022, it is still super difficult to find deep brown lip liners. Why? I have no idea, but I'm really grateful for these two that I'm gonna share with you because these are new launches, one by Kosas and one by Rare Beauty that are deep. They are brown girl friendly. I'm here to put y'all on. Let's actually do some swatches. So this is the Kosas Hot Liner, so they're calling it. That's cute, <laughs> that's cute, I didn't notice that. But this is actually a hyaluronic acid plumping lip liner. If you don't know Kosas, they're like a clean brand. I love their products, okay? All of their products are super high quality. They're amazing. So they launched the first set of lip liners and this one is the shade Supreme. I'm gonna swatch it for y'all so y'all can see the goodness. And this is how the brown looks, okay? Most brands, unfortunately, do not have browns that are this deep. So beautiful shade, really nice chocolatey kind of brown. And then let's go ahead and swatch the Rare Beauty. So this is their Kind Words Matte Lip Liner. So this, And this is in the shade Strong. So here they are. The Rare Beauty one is on top. So it seems to be much more of a richer shade. And the Kosas lip liner is kind of slightly more cool toned. But both are absolutely beautiful and I'm really excited about it because like I said, it's just so hard. It's ridiculous how hard it is to find some really nice chocolate browns. So of course y'all know how to put y'all on because literally that's my signature look. A nice chocolate brown with some kind of gloss or some kind of nude on the inside. I do actually need to put y'all on to one more lip product, which is so crazy the way it works and I don't understand how it's like this magical but it, it, it works and it's amazing so this is the Urban Decay Vice Lip Bond I did an entire collab with them because they're this is actually magic I don't understand so basically this is like a liquid lipstick with a satin finish that does not transfer, it does not budge. I'm telling you, you can eat an entire dinner, you can go do an entire wine tasting, which I did, and it won't come off. It stays there, and you're good to go all night. It like stays better than a regular matte liquid lipstick, which is insane because it has satin finish. Love these, okay? If you're looking for something that's gonna stay on all day, this is it. They also have a really, really beautiful red shade that I'm obsessed with. Last but not least, we gotta talk about setting spray, y'all. I have been absolutely obsessed. <sighs> I need to stop saying obsessed. I say obsessed with everything, but I've genuinely been enjoying the setting spray so much. So this is the vitamin C version of the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. So good. It's just good. Just know that it's good. It has skincare ingredients for your skin. I love it in the daytime and the nighttime. It really sets your face really nicely and it's not like overly greasy or anything like that. Of course, I'm wearing it right now and I just love it. I love it. Um, so last but not least, I have four body slash skincare products that I wanna share with y'all that are amazing. So first up, who watched Sweet Life of Zack and Cody? And if you don't know what that is, I'm a little sad. <laughs> it just means you're a little young, but Ashley Tisdale has launched a body care brand. It's like a body care, skincare slash like wellness brand. So this is their renewing body wash. Um, the scent is citrus amber. It's meant to awaken and uplift. And where's the information on here? They have, okay, yeah. So our products use mood science scent technology, connecting the power of scent and wellness. 
So literally they're scented with things that are supposed to kind of improve your wellness and improve your mood, uplift your mood and stuff. It's just a beautiful, nice citrusy body wash. It is, um, it's sulfate free, paraben free, vegan, cruelty free, dermatologist tested, and the fragrance is actually infused with essential oils. I love this. When I received this in PR, I was like, I gotta try it. I smelled it and I was like, oh my gosh, got to. And it is so nice. And one of the things I love about it is that it does sud up a lot. Okay, a little bit will actually go a long way. Sometimes with the cleaner kind of body washes, they don't set up enough and it feels like you're not really getting a good clean and then you end up using like half the bottle on one wash. Ain't nobody got time for that. This is not like that. It's very sudsy, smells amazing, gets the job done, doesn't dry out my skin. I really actually love it. I wasn't expecting to love it as much as I do. But it is amazing. So that's an amazing body cleanser. We also got to talk about facial cleansers. This is everything. If you are in the market for a new facial cleanser, literally add to your cart immediately. You can get this at Sephora, yay. Um, but this is the Rose Ingleton MD Super Fruit Brightening Cleanser. First things first, Rose Ingleton MD. She is a dermatologist. She is educated. I have really kind of evolved into just using either dermatologist founded brands or specific like more bougie expensive products that my esthetician actually like specifically suggests for me. Those are the products where you're gonna find super quality ingredients, balanced products that aren't going to like unbalance your skin. It's just, this is just where you're gonna find your best and most happiest skin, right? So when I received this NPR, I was super, super excited. So this is their new super fruit brightening cleanser. It says it's powered by a Jamaican super fruit blend with sugarcane extract and hyaluronic acid. So this is brightening, but it's also super moisturizing as well. A little bit goes a long way, and this is a sudsy cleanser. Same thing for my body wash like I like my facial cleansers to be sudsy but not like stripping or drying I want to feel like I'm getting a good cleanse without feeling like I'm stripping my face with oils you know what I mean and this is it okay this is everything you're gonna need so I just recommend another cleanser I've really been enjoying for the face is the keys soul care it's called their golden cleanser I literally was not expecting to love this as much as I do. I was really nervous to try it because obviously it's not a dermatologist founded brand, but what she did do is work really, really closely with dermatologists to create these products. So that's the only reason why I was like willing to really try it and see what it's like and I love it. All right, so we've reached our final products of the video and I might have saved the best for last because this body butter is everything and I'm gonna tell you why. So this is by Karate. I've never heard of this brown before, but I received it in PR. Was like, hey, let me try it. Y'all already know how I feel about shea butter. Okay, so it's a shea butter hydrating body cream that is absolutely everything. I love really juicy body cream products, but sometimes you can get on the end where it's like a little bit too oily and it can, it's like not as creamy, it's more oily and it's hard to like rub on on, on your entire body. Like it, it doesn't glide as much as a cream does. This one is super, super creamy. Let me actually take some out because it's kind of hard to see. I don't even want to waste it though. So this is the consistency and y'all, it is so, it's so good. This is it rubbed in. This is how your skin looks when you wear it glowy shiny and it doesn't like it's not sticky or anything on top it just sinks into the skin and my skin is just so happy with this stuff must be the shea butter or something i don't know but it is really nice it smells amazing it smells really natural like a natural just shea. it just smells like shea butter like i said sinks into the skin even during the summer it hasn't like you know sometimes you get those heavy body creams and it'll feel really slick when it's hot outside and stuff it doesn't feel like that at all but it leaves such a beautiful, like natural kind of glow, non-sticky, non-heavy, perfect. I've already reached out to them like, hey, can I get some more? And I'm also really obsessed with the packaging. This is my vibe, okay? Neutrals, whites, and blacks, period. That's me. And with that, we have reached the end of our video, y'all. Those are all the new products that I have been trying and loving so much lately. Like, I love to have my holy grail set of products and stuff that I can always rely on, but like the excitement of getting new products, trying it, and then loving it and being kind of like mind blown by it is just, oh, it's something I'll never get over. I'll never get over it, okay? It's called being a product junkie and I'm okay with it. <laughs> 
But yeah, guys, that's basically it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Don't forget to like and subscribe so y'all don't miss any future videos. By the way, I'm taking all video requests in the comments below. So go ahead, let me know what you want to see, and I will meet you in the comments. Thanks so much for watching. I will catch y'all in the next one. Bye.